Good morning, dudes. How is it going? So, uh, it's been another month. Yeah, we made it. We are still alive. And well, as per usual, a few things I want to talk about. So, let's just get right into it. I've been at work for a month and... Ah, it's okay. Well, it's not amazing. It's not... It's not, not crazy fun. It's actually sometimes not fun at all. But it can be really chill. It can be really chill. And it actually kind of gives me a sense of purpose. Like, it gives me a sense of fulfillment that at the end of the day, I did something. Which is nice. I don't know. It gives me that, like... Hmm. Now, this may sound dumb, but if you're working on your own, right? And you're just working for yourself, right? You just, by the way, I don't know why I've got this around, but I do. Again, I've always got something in my hands. Like, if I'm not playing, like, I'm always playing with something. Like, if it's, this is probably better to be playing with than the knife, but oh well. I actually got, I got scissors around here too, so I'm probably best off with this. <laughs> Anyways, but when I was just doing YouTube, I kind of had that problem where every day it felt like I wasn't done. Right? Because you're never really done if you're working on your own. Right? If you are your own business and you're working and then you stop working, and then all of a sudden you think, why did I just stop working? I could be working some more. And that kind of keeps you going always. It always is like in there. Like, why am I doing this? Right? Why am I watching YouTube? I could be making videos right now. Like, why am I doing this? Like, I, like, why did I say I already got a video for today? For today? Why did I not sit down and record another? Maybe I could get a better one. Which is stupid, right? You shouldn't do that. But uh, now with this work, I just kind of like, after after I did my, my shift, right? After I did my you know, seven something hours, I'm done. I can go home. And it's just like, yeah, I'm done with this. So I did something today. That kind of gives you a sense of reason, which is nice. I appreciate that. So, yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's, well, how do I best say how much I like it? It's probably, it's something I w I'm okay with doing for like my six months. Afterwards, I'm never going to do it again. Yeah, sounds reasonable. But hey. So, uh, as for YouTube, though, we are really close to getting to 40k, which is amazing. We, uh, well, we are running into troubles with videos because, I, look, uh, for example, today I just, I, I tried recording Balmy Place. I couldn't do it and now it's too late. Like, after I'm recording this, I'm going to sleep. So, oh, well, it's fine. I think I can always give you a video every day. I'm going to try my hardest as per usual and... Well, we're going to see how it goes, right? But I think I should be able to do it. Like, I did it for a month now, so... Yeah, it should be fine, right? I don't see how this could possibly stop. So we're always going to keep going with YouTube. Now, after I'm done, like, I, I also really want to prepare for uni because I have realized one thing. I, like, I'm not right now at a point in my life where I really just want to stop working. I'm at a point in my life where I want to learn. I want to study something, right? I want to... I want to read up on things. I want to have a subject matter that I can constantly learn new things about and go deeper and deeper into depth about. And that's why I really want to go into uni and not work. But hey, for now, I'm just going to do my internship and then, and then we're going to move on from there, right? So yeah. So yeah. Uh, other than that, do we... Uh, let, me, let, me, let me go ahead and open up this right here. I, I should have done that previously, but... Yeah, no, we don't really have anything crazy going on. Like, uh, sponsorships really calmed down a lot. That's okay. I didn't really expect them to be go to keep going. And, well, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And, uh, well, now there are two... Actually, like, this one's going to be a really short one. But there's just not so much to talk about. I just can't come up with a lot of it. Um, ad block video. You know what? I'm just going to give you like my reasoning for why using ad block makes you a thief really quick in a like really short format. And maybe you can discuss it in the comments or something if you agree with me or not. But uh, I want to do like a full video on it eventually once I find the time. Okay. But let me just give you my reasoning why using ad block makes you a thief. Uh, there are big, like three big industries, right? There's um, production, so industrial. There's agriculture, and then there's service. Um, 
agriculture creates like food and shit, right? It grows grows stuff which we then consume. Industrial industrial creates things. Service provides you with a service, obviously, right? So if I for example if you call me and then say, could you fix up my plumbing system? And I'm like, okay. That would make that would cost this much. And then I'm like, okay. They didn't pay me for anything physical, right? Like, if in fact I'm going to use new parts, then they have to pay extra for that. That costs additional money for the parts. But instead they paid me for the act of fixing it. You get that? That's service. Entertainment is service. You're not paying for anything physical. You're not paying for anything you can touch or eat. You're paying for service. You're paying for the service of being entertained. Okay? Now, let's go back to the plumbing example. If I now say, okay, I'm going to fix up your plumbing. I don't need any extra parts for it. I know how to do this and everything is fine. I just need to change some things. It's going to cost this much. If I do it then and you don't pay me, I can sue you because you are a thief. Because you took my service and then you refused to pay me money for it, which is wrong. Because my service was worth this much. And this is what we agreed on. And you're not doing your part of the agreement. End of story, right? You are a thief. And that's how it gets handled in court. You are a thief. If you demand a service, like if you're going to a restaurant, right? And you're just going to leave without paying. You took a service. You didn't pay for it. You are a thief. That's how it works. Now, the agreement we got on the internet is, well, we can't really put everything behind the paywall. With some things we do, with others we don't. For example, YouTube we don't. So our agreement right here is, I'm going to sit down for hours, right, every single day. I'm going to create videos for you, which you then watch and enjoy. So I provided you with the service of entertainment. But you're not sticking to your part of the agreement if you're using Adblock. Because your part of the agreement is you're going to watch an ad and I get money from that. I get paid from that. Which, if you think about it, what is money? Money is an equivalent of time and ability, right? You get paid for your time and ability. Or your product, which then again correlates to time and ability, right? So... If you're using Adblock, you're stealing from me. You are a thief. Make sense? I think that's reasonable to say. I don't see any problems with that argument. Maybe there is one. Maybe I'm just stupid. But I don't think I, I don't think there is one. Anyways, that took up like most of the video. Um, the two things I want to talk about. Uh, first one being... Wait, I forgot the first one. Second one being, I'm going to go to the ESL1 which is an esports event in Germany. It's going to take place I think, sometime in June, like in the next month, June, I think. Sometimes, sometimes, I'm not entirely convinced. I don't, I don't know. I think it's in June. I think it's in June. Let me actually go ahead and look that up. I should look all of these. Oh, there we go. ESL1. It's in Frankfurt, and it's going to take place... On June the 28th to, 20, to the 29th. And it's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much exactly two months away. So I'm going to be there on the 29th. I'm not going to be there on the 28th because it's quite a bit away from me. It's like a two hour drive. And uh, I don't really feel like driving there for two hours and driving home and then doing the same thing next day, the next day again. And, uh, I don't really, I can't afford, go well, I could afford, but I don't want to afford going there, right, one day and then sleeping somewhere in, and, like, that's too expensive for me. So I'm just going to go for uh, go to that event for the 29th, but I'm going to go there. I'm going to drag two buddies along, and we're going to hang out there, and that's our plan. So if you're interested in hanging out, right, ESL 1, 28, uh, 29th, June to 29th, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there the entire day. It's going to be in Frankfurt. And yeah, come hang out. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It sounds like a bit of fun and we can definitely get that done. 
And now I remember what the, what the last thing was that I wanted to talk about. Dark Souls 2. I disabled comments on those videos. And there are multiple reasons for that. I just want to quickly explain why. Uh, first one being, I don't think they add anything. It's really that simple. Second one, I don't want to get spoiled. I don't want other people to get spoiled. The, just the possibility of spoilers is enough for me to just disable those comments entirely. Third one. You need to understand Dark Souls 2, or Dark Souls in general, is not a linear game. It's not, right? Like, I can go path 1, or I can go path 2. Both are equally valid. And quite frankly, I got tired of people telling me that I was going the wrong path. Like, that's not even a case of, well, you're doing, like, I asked, right, in the first starting area. So that's not what I'm talking about, but I'm talking about something different. Uh, you guys only get to see, like, a few comments, right? I get to see all of them, and... Uh, yeah, I had my reasons for disabling comments on Dark Souls 2. No, they will not get enabled again. Don't even try to argue with me. It's not going to happen. And I think it's for the better. Now, Dark Souls 2 is something I'm doing just for the fun of it. I don't expect it to get any views. If it doesn't, then so fucking be it. I don't care. And uh, yeah, so just so you know. Anyways, anyways, I'm going to go sleep now. I'm going to try to get your... Uh, recording tomorrow. The nice thing is, like, the pr my, I, you should, no, you need to know this. I actually record two days in advance. Um, so if something like this happens, where I'm like, oh shit, I don't have a video for tomorrow, right? Then I got one. I got one, right? Like, I, on the day I'm recording this, I didn't manage to get a recording, but I got one for tomorrow. And tomorrow, I can just record another. And I actually don't have to work on Thursday. So I can't just, like, record like 10 dota games then at least that's the plan and uh yeah so we are done here i hope you enjoyed the video leave a rating actually don't i don't care and uh yeah tell me if you're coming to the esl one i would be really interested i'm gonna announce it again in a balmy place because people actually watch those videos and i hope to see all of you tomorrow goodbye everybody